At the last, perfection. These niggas fucking so old. Cell is now perfect, but it cuts to Goku and Gohan in the time chamber. Gohan's pretty much telling Goku to stop holding back or he'll never turn Super Saiyan. So that's exactly what Goku does. And no cap, watching Super made me forget how much dog Gohan really had back in Z, bro. He gave a crazy ass speech and when Super Saiyan, the only bad thing was he was moving like a dope fiend from the gas station. So this is the perfect android. What a joke. He's nothing but an oversized cricket. What the hell was I thinking? It's supposed to be bros before hoes. I just sold. The world is doomed. To make it even worse, I couldn't even hit. Not to hell with it. Damn it, Krillin. Shut up, the Gojo. Destruct all this. Oh, nah. Not bad, Krillin. But now it's my turn. Oh damn, he's dead! Bro, this one shot Krillin almost broke, bro. Neck, you couldn't even hold back a little bit, bro. Damn! You just sucked my man's girl up, and to make it even worse, he has extreme CTE. Lucky for him, Trunks rushed over and gave him a sensu bean, and now it's time for Vegeta to feel exactly what Krillin just felt. I hope you don't think you're the shit for beating up Krillin. You know, Vegeta, you really are a cocky bastard. I can't wait to see that smile go away. If I remember correctly, you're the one in your knees complaining. I wouldn't let that go to your head. <laughs> Let's go! I'm impressed. The old you would have been in tears right now. Vegeta proceeded to hit Cell with a barrage of punches, but it's becoming more and more clear how much Vegeta's really over his head for real. Like, nigga, just look at his face. He know he's cooked. I'd stop holding back if I were you, because I'll be damned if I lose to some big-ass bug that probably loves fat bitches. Nigga, stop playing with me. I hate fat bitches. Huh? You coward, come back to this. What? Not bad, Vegeta. Vegeta start key blast spamming and proceed to get absolutely embarrassed by Cell. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Cell had Ultra Instinct before it was even a thing. And to make it worse, this nigga 16 over here dick eating like he's prime Tom Brady. What's wrong, Vegeta? I thought we were only warming up. How dare you mock me? Well, we're doomed. Oh, don't tell me you're scared, Vegeta. Or do you realize how I would match you really are? Damn! <sighs> Crazy to think you're the one on the ground gasping for air. You. Oh wait, I almost forgot to say thank you. Without you, I wouldn't have achieved my perfect form. Fuck this! <laughs> perfect this, perfect that! Whoa, Mighty Wood! Let's see how your perfection handles the final flash! Well, fuck. How did that feel, perfection? You, you actually hit my perfect body, F Vegeta. How'd you forget you're not the main character, bitch? No, what? Nah, that's a crazy position to be knocked out in. Ass suited up with his face in the dirt. Cell was finna kill this nigga Vegeta, but Trunks came in to save the day. <laughs> What's this? Yo, next time, give me a warning so I don't get hit by lightning, please. My bad, Krillin. Trunks is now stronger than Vegeta, and he's ready to stamp some shit. This ends here. You sound like your father. Oh, no, I can't even see him. I really am a side character. Krilly, get out of here. Oh, damn. Not bad, Trunks, but I advise you give up, little nigga. Never. Oh, dude, come on, man. I know I can't beat that ass, right? I'll finish you. Ha! Not bad, but let me show you real finesse. Ha! Just like Vegeta Trunks bit off way more than he could chew, shit was getting so bad it repeated the same frame of that nigga eating straight dirt. Turns out that was all just a distraction though so Krillin could save Vegeta. But you won't believe this man Krillin, he's over here talking shit about Vegeta for letting Cell become perfect. Nigga, you are responsible! You were the one that should've blew her up! But no, you want to be a down badass, simp ass nigga! Like father, like son, too stubborn to realize when they lost. And don't think I didn't see that little bald nigga get Vegeta. But fuck Vegeta, show me your true power. 
I'll make sure you never speak his name again. Trunks is not Super Saiyan grade 3, but he goes on to explain how in his future the androids went around destroying cities, but they grew bored and started hunting down the Z fighters. He even shows my go future Gohan getting pieced up, but fuck all that yapping shit. Him and Cell start boxing for a split second. It looks like they're evenly matched. Until explain how brute force won't win the battle. Cell went on to explain his whole power system, bro. If an anime villain can explain your whole power set, bro, you might as well hang it up. And that's what Trunks should have did, cause Cell started saucing his shit. And since the form has such a big drawback on speed, Cell was allowed to do whatever. I ain't gonna lie, this shit was tragic, cause look at his face. This is the face of fear. And just to add salt to the wound, Cell was being a dickhead and went Super Saiyan grade 3 just to troll. And this is when Trunks lost his real nigga status, bro, because he decided to give up. You hate to see it. A Saiyan warrior giving up. Never thought I'd see that. Just get it over with. Did he just give up? No way. I can't fucking believe it. Don't worry, little nigga. I'm not gonna kill you yet. Cocky bastard. Oh, shut up, bitch. Y'all got 10 days. What? In 10 days, I'll hold a tournament. Y'all better bring y'all best fighters. While Trunks and Vegeta was fighting Cell, Goku and Gohan were getting stronger. Goku managed them like Super Saiyan grade 2 and 3. But he explained how the form has terrible energy drain and makes you incredibly slow. So his plans are to pass Super Saiyan and stay in the form all the time so that they can get used to it. While that's happening, Trunks explains the tournament thing to Vegeta and Krillin. 16 offered help, but Trunks said this. Why would anyone want to help your kind? First of all, nigga chill, it's not that serious. You should have been talking reckless like that to Cell, not Android 16. But with that, all the Z Fighters meet at Bowman's place and talk about a tournament, then Cell finally makes his broadcast. We have an update on the P. Diddy case. Turns out he was definitely stuffing Meek Mill cheeks, which sucks because I love dreams and I- Oh, what the fuck? Is this Studio B? Someone! All right, Earthlings. Listen up, I'm so, others may say I'm dashing, sexy, extravagant, amazing, funny, intelligent, or critical thinker, but I just say I'm perfect. But on a real note though, I'm holding a tournament called the Cell Games 10 days from now that decides the fate of your planet. Bring your best fighters to challenge perfection. Now the countdown begins. Goku and Gohan leave the chamber early. They pretty much perfect this Super Saiyan. They get informed about the tournament and then Goku goes to check Cell out for himself and no cap these niggas had a top three face off in anime history. And that bit ain't three or two. He tells Cell how he's gonna be his first opponent nine days from now. And with that, the clock is ticking. We get a montage of the Z Fighters doing their thing in like five episodes of filler. I'm not gonna lie though, we cutting straight to the tournament. We get the introduction of Hercule, but he's not important because after that, we get an arguable top five shots in Dragon Ball. Like, you can't tell me me these niggas ain't radiating sauce nigga at least one person has to have this as a wallpaper bro and now it's time hercule fights so first and uh yeah fuck that we skipping straight to goku versus Cell. you better not disappoint goku i was edging for nine days straight for this very moment okay first of all pause you could at least said no diddy damn i've never seen him like this before he's really locked in go what? I severely misunderstood his game. That man with the yellow hair actually got them bitches. Mr. Satan, what do you have to say? Hey, um, uh, um, um, let's just say I can beat both of them with ease. Goku and Cell box some more with Goku almost being knocked out of the ring, but they're both holding back in the side to slowly ramp things up. And their power level was going so high that side characters like Yamcha and Tien couldn't even keep up with them. Yeah, nigga, you're cooked, by the way. But remember, there's a reason if you search up Cell versus Goku on YouTube, there's a video at the top that says the good part. Well, what do you say we turn up a little bit? <laughs> That hit actually hurt. I'm assuming you're done warming up. Yeah, that little woman really loosened everything up for me. Damn, that punch actually hurt like hell from my cure flaw. God, I gotta turn up for real. Now let's do this! <laughs> Go fuck up. How'd that feel? It felt like you a bitch. Whoa. I'm on that ass, nigga. Fuck that! Bitch, how you like that? Damn, take this! For someone that talks a lot of shit, I thought you'd be stronger. Same can go for you. The fuck? This nigga sells straight up said fuck the rules and blew up the ring. And I ain't gonna lie, he was standing on straight business. Me. What? Fell for a dumbass! 
For a minute, it looks like Cell is done for until Jit popped up and regenerated his whole top half. And with that, Goku's like, fuck it. He calls down Gohan to box Cell. And this right here, ain't gonna lie, is what started the bad part of the bullshit. All right, now, Gohan, he got the bitches, but you're stronger than both of us. I trust you. Oh, and Cell, take this. Bro, what the fuck? Oh, oh, we're dead. Oh, Goku, we're fucking dead. Appreciate that, nigga. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, we're done for. <laughs> Now, I'm not gonna lie, giving Cell a Sensu Bean was the dumbest decision Goku's probably ever made in the whole series. But he knew Gohan had that dog in him, bruh. Him and Cell started fading, and no cap, Gohan had perfect defense. Yeah, the rest of the Z Fighters shook, cuz ain't no way this is the same kid that sold against Nappa back then. All that swag went away, though, cuz Cell started giving this nigga to work. This shit might be classified as bullying. See, Gohan has the power to hang with Cell. He's just not letting it all out, so he's just getting fucking folded. Cell is literally squeezing life out, bruh. Goku, what the fuck is he doing? You get my fucking son killed out there. He got that dog in him, but he's still just a puppy. Fuck. On me, Goku, if we die, I'm beating your ass in the other world. Shit, Piccolo's right. Cell snatches the Sensu Beans away from Krillin, and no cap, bro, besides Vegeta, all Krillin did was fucking Cell in this art. To make it even worse, 16 tried to blow himself up, but he doesn't have the bomb anymore in his chest, so it's just looking like the Z Fighters are straight fucking frauds. So Cell is trying to get Gohan as mad as possible, so he summons the Cell Juniors, I'm not gonna lie, this shit made me gag watching them pop out his... Whatever that thing is. But the Cell Genes are straight up stomping all their heroes, bro. Gohan is begging him to stop, but Cell just wants to see Gohan's full power. <laughs> Gohan, let it go. The fuck? Enough of this fraud shit. Show them why you're him. You must protect this world. Alright, enough. Yet again, too weak minded to save anyone. He's right. I am always too weak to save anyone. Let's do this, but first... Oh, shit, nigga. Okay, you moving different, I see. The fuck? One. Oh, fuck no. Two. Get up! Okay, then. The Cell Juniors go deep in their bag and try everything they got just for Gohan to do this. Four. Five. Six. Seven. The unstoppable Gohan proceed to embarrass Cell. Angle, he was dodging for like 20 minutes straight of the episode. Like, this is literally what Cell just said in the episode. Why do my punches always miss you? If that's not going out sad, then I don't know what is. Cell got pissed off and went full power. How is this? If that's your full power, you might want to give up now. Fuck no! Is that all you got? What in What the fuck? Oh, no. No, fuck this. Ha! Oh, nah, nigga. Fuck this. It's been fun, but I'm blowing all the fuck up. Kameha me. Gohan has Cell on roast, but like every sand, his weakness is his pride. And that shit kicked in at a terrible time. Hell no, I'm not tolerating disrespect. I'm perfection. <laughs> Oh fuck, I'm gonna throw him. Oh my gosh, I can still get some play. Cell throws up 18 and reverts back to his second form and the first thing he decides to do is blow himself up, but Goku felt responsible for this whole situation and used instant transmission. Goku, you bitch! My bad, King Kai. I hate you. Gohan's mourning the death of his father, but something isn't right. Cell explain how he has this thing in the top of his head that allows him to heal from anything as long as it's not destroyed, which makes no sense considering Goku blew his whole top off, but anyways, I'm not a storyboarder, so who cares? But the death of Trunks made Vegeta lash out, and he started key blast spamming, and yeah, that, that nigga's trash. Okay, Vegeta, I'm tired of you. Nah. No! Ah! Impressive. But I think it's time I finish this. This is it. I'm sorry I failed you. You giving up now, Gohan? Come on. Gohan giving up? That's not the Gohan I know. Dad, don't worry about me, Gohan. The fate of the world is at stake. Let it go and give it everything you've got. But I only have one arm. That's all you need. You're right. That is all I need. I know you 
have more power than this. Forget about the Earth. You're a hero now. Show them. Ha! I won't lose. Gohan, I know you have more. Use that anger. Die. What? Do it, Gohan. Ah! No. Alright, boom, ladies and gentlemen, we is at the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the Cell Saga. Thank you for all the love and support recently. We had like, uh, I think it's like 22,700. Remember, the goal by the end of the year is 30k, and I got the 30k special dynamic saga. So if you guys want to see that, go ahead, sub up. But I ain't gonna keep you guys any longer. Oh, I'm probably gonna put a poll up deciding what video I want for next week because I haven't done that in a minute. So I was like, fuck it, I might as well let y'all choose. But hey, just like that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys have an amazing, best day. Just like that, I'm out.